<laughs> okay. All right. So we are now being recorded. So welcome everybody to our monthly meeting. And we're going to jump right into show and share. And for those of you that have something, so let's start with, uh, let's start with Gina. Gina, I'll put you in the spotlight. Where if I can find you? Where are you? <laughs> Stephen, I just, oh. just want to remind you, I only can be here for about 20 minutes, just to let you know. Oh, thank God, because if we had to put up with you through the no, never mind. Actually, <laughs> Caroline, huh? sorry, Gina, if Gina doesn't mind, we'll go with Caroline. <laughs> She's yeah. got to, to leave. So I'm going to put you in the spotlight, dear. All right. Okay, you're in the spotlight. So I did not, I still haven't made any ATCs, but I did actually do something creative. I made a couple of cards. So, so let's see. I have this one. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty it's watercolor nice. paper and I used mermaid markers. And um, what I did to help me is that I actually, the watercolor paper I have is textured on one side and smooth on the other. So I work on the smooth side. And also I saw a tip somewhere, don't remember where, that um, it stays flatter if you spritz water on both sides. So I it spritz water on both sides. And um, I find for me that the stuff flows and merges better if I pre-spritz with some water. Oh, good. The other thing I did was I had chosen a green that I thought would go with it for the matting and I pre-cut it and everything and I mm. didn't like how it looked. So all I did was took a marker and went over the edge to make the colors work better. So yeah, that's and pretty. Good recovery. To keep me in Intensity, I um, actually stamped after making the background and the background was dry. So are the mermaid yeah. markers water soluble? Yes, uh, it's a, they're actually mermaid, like they're water pens. It was one of the Jane Davenport things. And so they came, it's like a water brush that already has a color in it. Oh, oh because I have these ones uh, by her, but I've never really used them. I've had them for yeah. a while. They're the... Jane Davenport uh, oh, Glitzy Sparkle uh, Markers is what she calls these ones. Okay, so, so um, I'm sure they're similar to these where they'll have a ring in it to stop them from, uh, like if you open it, there'll be a ring you have to remove, kind of like with the Wink of Stella. Oh, and yeah. then you screw it down to break, the, to break the seal. Nope, these ones don't. These are just, these are, must be something a little different. They're- Okay. They're just a marker, which are dried up on me pretty much, <laughs> which I hardly ever used. I got these when she first came out with these. Oh, uh, okay. And so no, these, these are a water brush. Okay, that have, so that's a little different then. Have you, you've got one there, Kristen? Yeah, and you oh, see okay. that it has that ring, the green ring on it? Yeah, and you're on you mute. Have to remove, you have to remove the ring and then it'll puncture it and then you can get um color in it uh oh, okay I, I didn't do that until i was about to use it plus the other thing is it can take a while for the ink to then get into the brush and if you're impatient like i sometimes am uh you may get a spurt of of the stuff coming out so just watch that <laughs> <laughs> and so this is well, the that's pretty other yeah. one i'm just trying to flaring. Right. Yeah, I'm just trying to find there. You can see it a little better. Can you? Yeah, yep. it's a little better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Back up a bit. Yeah. Some that's of you better. remember a long time ago, I got excited because I found magazines that had like stamp sets or die sets in it. And mm -hmm. this actually was an Alta New die set that came in a magazine. And this might have been the first one I ever did. Oh, wow. Um, ah. And so I actually was inspired by the designs of the magazine, but of course modified it a little bit. Um, these are actually brushos on watercolor paper again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and uh, these, uh, the dark blue things are actually, they were off cuts from something else I did. So I was trying to use some of my off cuts. Oh. So, yeah, they're kind of cool, aren't they? The, you, just a little strip here and there is really helpful sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, and I have as, a box full of those. <laughs> <laughs> as somebody told me once, uh, navy blue is, is a neutral. So that's why I used it. Huh? Right. That's lovely. So like that. nice. that's what I've actually done in a craft, in a actually creative way. And I was looking for something else and I... I ran into this. I got a, a gift certificate certificate from 
indigo once quite a while ago. And um, it actually is like a little box. So I'm going to try and make some sort of a memory box thing with, mm. with it. But I'm just wondering, because the outside is like, you know, sometimes it's it's kind of plasticky. I don't know. It's like, a, it feels a bit like a vinyl, rubber, a little rubbery vinylish. So I'm wondering. Yes, so. Do you think Jessa will cover it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it would. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So we'll, yeah. We'll see where I get it. Otherwise, I'm sure I could cover it with pattern paper. And uh, oh, yeah. And go yeah. from there. Although I kind of like on the front because it says, you know, words like inspire and explore and stuff like that. Mm. So and create. So that's a cool yeah. cover, though. Yeah. Just glue, glue stuff on top and leave that the words out. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. So that's what I had to share today. Okay, thank you. And uh, pick out spotlight. And so Gina, we'll come back to you now. Okay, um, I was working on the ATCs for May. And there was a, a couple years ago, Joanne and I went and took a trip down to the Pacific Mall in Toronto. And we got it was around New Year's. So we got all of pieces of paper. See, these ones here have got the, the gold leaf on them and there's a whole pile of them and they were like a dollar. And wow. what it is, is this is called Joss paper and it's a traditional practice that uh, Chinese people do like at New Year's and um, they burn these papers and it's supposed to be representing money and material objects. Like this looks like a beautiful t-shirt and you burn these and it's supposed to go sending these materials to your loved ones that have passed. So I, I saw all these beautiful pieces and I have one of those rulers where you can tear the pieces. Mm. So I, oh, nice. tore, I tore the gold leaf off and put them on a, a nice backing. And I also have this little dictionary. If you ever see a little dictionary, these are perfect little pages for ATC cards. It's, mm -hmm. it's just the right size and they have the pretty, the writing is just the right size. So I, I ripped the paper and put it on backing and made these. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Beautiful. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Holy cow. So the, the papers from the dictionary, and then I uh, had the, the nice, uh, you know, te uh, template there to cut out and just attached it on. And also, I made a couple of little cards. Very nice. Thought, Those are pretty. Yeah. Really yeah. pretty. So that's just basically out of the stuff that, you know, like these big package. I still got lots. So. I thought uh, I'd show wow. you that. That was fun. And then uh, last Christmas, Carol store when she had her Christmas sale, I got one of these. These are those little books where you punch out mm. and they make yeah. cards. Oh, I got that one too. It's supposed to be fixed cards, and they've got lambs and deers, birds, horses, dogs, and sheep. Well. You can make more than six, though, out of those. I made oh, all. Sure. Oh, how cool. Oh, my wow. God. Wow, yay. That's awesome, Gina. Good job. Yeah, really. Wow. So that's 12. Wow. Those are amazing. So I thought I'd, I'd show you that. And I made a, a wow. couple, couple of journal pages and stuff, but basically that was it for me. Okay, great. Well Thank done. You. I'm just catching up on wow. my notes. <laughs> um, okay, so Amazing. who's next in the spotlight? Darla, we'll come to you. I got to find you, dear. Get you in here. Uh, there's Darla. Uh, and there we go. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I was keeping with the theme on home. Um, still working on all the heritage because I figure we'll probably be in this lockdown another six months likely, and then it'll be travel time and we won't wanna be doing the heritage then. So I thought, well, I'm inside, I'll continue. So 
this was um, something that I. Wow. Oh, so pretty. It, it, it's a beautiful. Cat. Gorgeous. Very, yeah. So um, the theme, uh, my theme for this month was home. So this was one that I started, but I hadn't finished it. So I finished that off. Are those paper flowers, Darla? Yes. And it okay. came it, it, it came in a kit. So it wasn't my creation. Okay. So from and there Stella, I, you, it was beautiful. your creation, it just was from someone's idea. Yeah, okay, you executed. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. And then I went from there to I, this is just a it's an eight by eight album. And I went through all my pictures and I thought I'll do one on all the homes that, that I've lived in since I was born. Mm. So it tur wow. turned out to be seven homes, including my grandmother's, and uh, then two cottages. And I figured they're like wow. one or two. So um, uh, just, uh, I'll just show you a couple of the pages. So this, like, this is where I am right now. This is a, this is a cottage here that we're at. Wow. And then I'm gonna do some journaling. So oh, that's that's another left, right? Nice. Mm. And mm -hmm. then this is the home that this is where we live now. Nice. So wow. then what really I'm going nice to, job. So then I'm going to do the journaling on how we ended up either buying the home or living there or just some something about the house. So I know that in your heritage books you do that too, but I thought this is just fun to do on its own. So from there I went to, I had some uh, layouts and um, I'm getting involved in the recipe books now. Um, so this, again, these are, these are layouts. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'll tell you about the themes in a sec. This is another one. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Oh, Very nice. Lovely. Good job. And then I made some other plain ones in the back. So I haven't done the pictures yet. So some of the themes, like I am doing recipe books for our, uh, for the girls, but I thought of some themes to de use in this one. And one was um, doing pickles with uh, my grandmother. And then another page on like the friendship cake, you know, the cakes that you pass on, you know, you make up the oh, batter yeah. and you pass mm -hmm. them to friends. So I thought I'd put some pictures of friends in there and, and how we used to do the friendship cakes. Um, Christmas gingerbread. Um, and then we used to do uh, Super Thursdays where we'd make soup and exchange it amongst friends. So that, and then high tea is another one. And then doing preserves with a, a friend. So those are kind of the themes wow. I'm gonna work on there. And then- Darla, now, can I ask you something? Yes, yes. Um, so you made a, a layout and um, you don't have pictures in it yet. So like, I'm just trying to understand, like, do you just make a layout and then fit the stuff to the layout? Or did you have things in mind for that layout already? No, I do it backwards. I always have the layouts. Uh, no, it's not backwards. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always get the layouts done and I know that sometimes people will match the picture colors with the, they'll look at the colors that are in the picture and then do the layout. I just as soon have the layout and then, it's, so what if the picture isn't exactly blending in? You can add other things. Yeah. And embellish mm -hmm. it to it. So the layout's what's inspiring you and then you just yeah. tell your yeah, story yeah, with exactly. that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, interesting. And, and also, while you're chatting with me, I thought found a whole lot of heritage books. So some, somehow I can get them to you if you want to use those for any wow. information or whatever. I've got sort of a bucket of them that I've gone through some. Oh, great. Okay. And then, and then I'm still going uh, through Kristen's two books. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's good to share with one another. And, and Gina, yeah. I, this isn't copyright but I've stolen your little idea here with your little uh, <laughs> clips. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first one, uh, my ATC was for the, um, the folklore. 
and then um, the second one. So I just, uh, they're fairly simple. So we don't have to go into a lot of detail, you know, as long as they're done, you know, that's um, the kite there. And then um, the last time I did the, um, the uh, little, what was it with that shimmer stuff? I cut those pieces down. Oh, the pixie and stuff. Then, oh, good. And I made that one with the family there. Great. And then the last one was just, it's just a stamp. And I just colored it in for the, the flowers for me. That's oh, really good cute. job. Perfect good job. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. So now I have to do the watercolor, which I, I, I've been practicing because I haven't done water watercolor before. So, um, and the camping ones. So I've got those two to finish up. So that's what I did this month. Mm. You did a lot. Wow. Wow. Busy, my dear. Mm -hmm. oh my okay. Well, thank you, Darla. And let's move on to our next victim. I mean, our next presenter is Anne. Oh, okay. Wake up. Well, <laughs> no, you know what? I was checking my Facebook page, I confess. Okay. That's how important we are to her. Okay. We're not hurt. No, we're not hurt at all. I was watching. I was thinking what I had, Darla, what I might, because I have a little thing going with a friend. And I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm not kidding. It's in the back, you know. <laughs> In my day, it wasn't a phone, but we were, we were busy passing notes. So. <laughs> and then the teacher would read them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, well, I this morning came around, and I thought, holy cow, it is Sunday, and what have I got to share? <laughs> and, oh, it's a whole new month. What's the thing? And it's flowers. And I thought, okay, I have, must have 5,000 paper flowers of one size or another. Uh, I'm going to use up that. And I went through my stuff uh, and I found a stamp that says um, flowers bloom in the footsteps of friends. And I thought it was kind of a nice sentiment. So I had some, some tags and I stamped that on and then I went at it with my flowers. Mm. Nice. Nice. nice, nice. So they're all they're different. <laughs> um, there we are, you can see that. They're all different. But they all have the from the similar collection, so it'll be yeah. fun. It was fun actually. I kind of thought, oh, they would make nice, nice. card fronts for Mother's Day cards or something mm -hmm. like that, or birthday cards for somebody who's into gardening and stuff. So that will be uh, next, and that basically is what I have done this month. I've been. My husband says, "Well, you could tell them you've been teaching me to make chicken soup." Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's he always good to know. The way He's been cooking this month. When he okay. cooks, it's um, tell me what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do I do with this? <laughs> so in other words, what he really wants is me to do this. He'll do the chopping and me to do the cooking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> However, okay. he did well. make chicken soup this morning. I made the stock yesterday. so So that's it. But that, that's what I got done. Okay. I, got, I promise I, gotta I will go. give up reading my smutty books and start doing something creative pretty soon. Okay. So, <laughs> Caroline. I forward, yep, I look forward to seeing everyone next month and I'll look at what everyone else did uh, when the uh, recording comes out. Thanks a lot. Great. Okay, bye, bye Caroline. Caroline. Bye. bye, Caroline. Uh, okay, so hey, that's it, Anne? That's it, yep, I'm done. Okay, thank you. Let's go to, I got to find where everybody is. Where is Kristen? You're on. Hi. All right, so I have a lot to share because, well, I went crazy. Okay, Kristen, you're off. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> um, okay, so I went nuts and finished all my ATCs from March of 2020 to June of 2021. You're amazing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was that was a little bit. That must, that of work. Must have taken days. It didn't. I just so like Kristen, stunned. are you finding that you're more inspired? You said you had redone your craft room or organized it. Do you find yes. you're doing more? Yes. So yesterday we it was National Scrapbook Day. So there were six of us online on Zoom yesterday. We had a great day. 
Uh, I made a little bingo card for us. I won because, well, you know, <laughs> I made the card. She made the card. <laughs> no, you. Okay, you didn't get the items that you added, so like, that's your own fault. <laughs> All right, so I did my April. Um, it was April Fools, so it says knock knock. Who's there? Banana, and Banana. because I didn't have any more room, it just says Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> Here is uh, Victoria's Secret. Oh, uh, I like that. Ooh. Or yeah. Um, yeah. royalty. That I stole that. Yeah, that's a stamp. I stole that from my husband. Uh, this was last July. So there's like fireworks and like the Canada that. flag. Wow. Yeah. Um, this is floral. So it's one of those uh, pink fresh uh, layering stencils. So there's five stencils on there mm. to create that. Wow. You that's may notice a theme of yellow. And then I had this old paper pack and I just went through it and like used it up. This is my November reflection, which was missing you or reflection. Well, missing you. That's been flocked. <laughs> <laughs> He's been flocked. A little black sheep. Uh, family, I had to look very hard through my thousands of stamps, but I did find something that said family on it. So this says my family. You're okay, I guess. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> so, and this the little jewels represents like a family ring. Mm. So that was my okay. thought behind that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, camping. It says you light my campfire. Uh -huh. And uh, uh -huh. weather saying sending sunshine to brighten your day. So there is some texture in the background. You nice. may not be able to see nice. it. Watercolor. Well, I actually have from Curry's back in the day, like a long time ago, canvas ATC paper. So I oh, did wow. a watercoloring uh, stamping. I even signed it down here to make it look. Wow. So it's, I did the wood frame grain uh, frame nice. around it. Mm -hmm. cool. Folk sayings. I went with say cheese because Dana said it was okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Christmas which was, so this was a napkin that I glued on. Cool. And I finished that one late yesterday. So then yesterday during our uh, cropping that we did, I decided to do a Paris theme art journal. So these are old rub-ons. Like these rub-ons must be like 15 years old. Oh. And that's an old oh. stencil that I stenciled. So that's my title page. Then we have to have pastries from France. I used uh, Tim Holtz grit paste to create the frosting, and it does say nice. pastier or something up there in croissant and brioche. So, what are you using um, in your backgrounds? Are those distress stains or sprays? Not. I, it is. It's reinkers. If I didn't have the color of spray, okay. I've used my reinkers. I've used distress yeah. stains. Uh, this, I actually finally used my distress glaze for the first time. So that's my perfume page. This is uh, dancing on the, I'm using all my Elizabeth Craft planner dies. Mm -hmm. okay. um, this is an old stamp that it didn't really cut out well. I didn't, the stamp is awesome, but here, let me just grab the stamp so you can actually see what it's supposed to look like. But the way it, it wasn't going to, stamp I have a New York one too oh wow that's nice so nice used a lot of washi tape used a lot of old products this one did just didn't turn out in my opinion but I created it that's cool, that's cool. And I think that's good now I have product review I watched a Tim Holtz video on his chapter releases and you see these and you think it's a stacking die set it's not. It's actually five sets of dies. Mm -hmm. hmm. So when you look at it, it's misleading because you just think it's stacking dies. Well, no, there's five sets. So if you're like cutting out, like, you know, making patchwork, I think Dana actually used hers to make an ATC. You can do it in one shot versus having to put it through 20 times. So that's... So you have Mm -hmm. Those are hexagons then, right? Yes. They, he has, there's 25 dies in here. So, so how, you how oh my big God. are they? They're, the biggest one is two and a half inches, I'd say, hmm. in this set. I mean, I have this circle. I bought the circles and the ovals as well, and they're a little bit bigger. But yeah, there's 25 dies in there. No, because and they're all you know, the same. 
the reason I'm asking you that is because in quilting, oh, cool. there's uh, there's a whole movement right now. It's very popular for hand stitching, making hexagons. They call them hexes. And you put yeah. them all together to make a, a quilt or a, a design or something like that. But it's faster if you have dies to cut them out with. I have one die that will cut them out, but if you've got 25 in there and they're various sizes, that would be great. Yeah, they're all, the, I mean, they're, they're stacking. But they're, yeah. you have five stacking sets, which is fantastic. And the price point, I don't think is that exuberant. And then my- So Kristen, if you um, cut like one die, you get a solid hexagon. But if yeah. you put two inside each other, would you get like a frame? Yes, yeah. they, they all layer, but you have five, you have five sets of them. So you could do um, like five at a time, right? So yeah. it's, and they're, I mean, they're Tim Holtz, they're Sizzix. So that's mm -hmm. the biggest one in this. The ovals, I think, are a little bit bigger. So what's this, the set called? It's oh, called... Very big. Um, no, they're not. This set is called yeah. Thinlets. <laughs> well, that's it just has a number, stacked, stacked tiles. Stacked tiles. Uh, that's what he several, calls them. Several yeah. different ones, right, Kristen? Yeah, he has... So this is just under... Circles, squares, and the hexagons. I think he has triangles. I think there's triangles too, triangles. is there not? I think yeah. there is triangles. I think so. So what's the Tim Holtz number on that one that you've got? It will start with the TH. And no, it doesn't. It's his number. Oh. It's 664420. 664420. Yeah. Okay. And they cut really close to the edge, which makes the, when you do them, like to make the, the frames, makes it nice easier to line them up mm. okay they don't leave them the shut like you know that impression mm -hmm. that's his yeah. thing so i yeah he had a video on it, it was like the release of uh, his chapter two and then i went and watched chap part of chapter mm -hmm. one and it was like two hours it took me like two or three nights to watch but it was so inspiring and it was very mm -hmm. interesting and uh the other thing is next weekend is my seth after class i, I think pat class. oh i'm in that too oh yeah i'm in for that too yeah, so yeah. it's very interesting. I got my class kit and it's got a bunch of the Isings. So I'm not sure how I feel about the pouches because you can't put stuff back in them. Yeah. But yeah. Um, that'll be interesting. So I'm interested to see. I mean, I know who I have some of his product, like from I picked up from where I, I don't know. I've had, like, I know I have some of his stuff. I found a stamp the other day. But uh, yeah, so that's all that's exciting. I did 11 ATCs in the last month. <laughs> Pretty amazing. I did seven last weekend. Yeah, I did 70 in the last weekend. Wow. So I'm, okay. and, and when, with that, I am out of the ATC slot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you okay. notified us of that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. I just sent you one anyway, because I've figured out how to cut my one size of paper, so I get 12. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can cut, you can get 12 out of one sheet of paper? I actually got 13, of 14 out of a 12 by 12. Oh, okay. Oh, I was 12 by 12. Because okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can get 10 out of an 8.5 by 11. Yeah, okay. if you cut it right, you can. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Anything else, Kristen? Um, I think I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Good. Pat, you're in the spotlight. Okay. Well, my exciting news is uh, I, told, I asked Terry to cut my hair because it was... I haven't had it cut for over a year. He cut seven inches off and it's straight. So uh, I'm happy. <laughs> Very happy. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I just cut it because I'm sick of it. It was getting all rotty. But I've been, uh, okay, I haven't worked on ATCs, but I actually pulled the list out and did some designs in my head. So now I just have to make some. So I have nothing to show you on those, but I've been making cards because in um, May, it's a big birthday month again in my family. So. My one nephew, he likes motorcycles. Oh, so um, gorgeous. This is uh, awesome. It's, uh, the stamp is, uh, is it something pink something? Pink Fresh maybe? Pink or Fresh Studios. She, yeah. he ha they had the big owl and the bunny and the. Um, oh, the ones from Ecstasy. That? Yeah. Um, no, and Carol had some. Pink something. I had a couple. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Pink Studio or Essentials. Pink Fresh. Okay, I'll look well, it up. No, it's not Mel Pink Fresh. Angel. I'll look it up. Hang on. Okay. I think it's pink. Well, anyway, they're super size stamps, but I loved it. So that's Nick's card. 
Then my other nephew, who's kind of hard, he likes music. So um, this I did on my Cricut. I just found a free cutting file on the internet. And then I had these uh, dies already for the glasses. And it's just that he ink. plays a sax. So it's oh, a cat. Cool. What was it? Pink ink. ink. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, no, it. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, this is a cat playing a sax. And then my other um, nephew, this card, okay, you have to read it because it's kind of a family joke. I had this eccentric uncle and he hated when you blew on um, the candles. Like he wanted to, you, he wanted you to like lick your fingers and extinguish that way. But this says, um, why is a birthday cake the only food you can blow and spit on and everyone still rushes to get a piece. <laughs> so, that's that one. Who spits when and they then, blow? Um, that's what I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> COVID will change that, right? <laughs> so cute. Yeah. And then um, this was uh, the Tim Holtz Snarky Cats. Oh. And I just wanted to try it out. So um, I think it says, Look, I'm not saying that you're old, but if you're a milk, I'd sniff you first. So I have a brother-in-law in August that this is going to. <laughs> and um, I did work on my brother's album some more. But I'm, I'm not finished. I can't show you because the pictures are going to fall out. But it's still coming along. So next Yay. month, I think I should nice. be able to show you the finished product, finally. And that's it. Oh, and I got my first job, too. Your first what vaccination. job? Oh, vaccination! Your job. Vaccination. I, like your job. <laughs> I heard job too. <laughs> I heard job. Yeah. Oh, no, Cappy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And let's see who's next on the list. It is going to be. Let's hear from Carol. Anything new that you want to tell us all about, Carol? Well, there is something that I'll share. Some of you may have seen this already, but I finished up the secondary page. So I was um, fell in love with this Lady Vagabond. Mm. Oh, that's cool. So I used Distress Glaze to color her. I don't know if you can see the shine, but it enhances all of the colors. And then I just did this as a... So it's torn in here. So I just used three pieces of cardstock to create that. So I did the Carol, secondary. Yeah. How did you make that thing? You just stuck that thing into like the ragged edge. Okay, so what I did was, um, I'll just quickly go. So this background was one full piece, yeah. okay? This background is one full piece. And then the third piece that I used had this lady on it. And when I cut her out to 3D, or because she's actually popped, hmm. okay, I use ah. the extra pieces and distress them with a paper distressor. Mm. Is that one and of then, those round things? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I don't okay. have mine handy to show you right now, but oh. paper distressor. The Sizzix one is really, really good because it's got a nice handle on it. I find that the little round ones, they hurt my hands because I have to hold them so tight, right? Where the Sizzix one actually has a handle. Love it. Oh. Comes in a little kit. Comes and it with an exacto. Make it that, and... um, did it make it that distressed? Like part of that at the top is really in. Yeah. So in here, what I did was I just cut. So where the paper was, I just cut along it and then paper distressed it. So depending on oh, how okay. hard you actually press on the distressor will also rip the paper differently. Mm, and okay. then I just put a piece of tape down here so I could tuck this in. So I'm trying to do yeah. this backwards like, yeah, that, like that, right? And then oh. with the extra other little pieces, I did another one. So these are again, all ragged. And then you can pop these, sorry, I'm just gonna stand up here. Pop these mats in. Oops, oh. I forgot to take that one in already. So they just slide in. So then you can put as much or as little bit of the picture. So it looks like it's all part of it. Beautiful. And cool. then, um, so I finally finished that. And then I just finished up some accents on this. So this is a card. And again, I used the Distress Glaze to enhance these parts here where it's shiny. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. The Tim Holtz Distress nice. Glaze are amazing. Love them. So now everything I want to do. And then I 
did, uh, so this was two pieces of cardstock again, because I wanted to cut the wings out and then put glossy accents. I don't know if you can see wow. it that good. Yeah, there, some little yeah. shinies. Yeah. And then for Sir Vagabond, I hmm. put, cut this out again, use two sheets and fussy cut him. And you guys know that I don't really like to fussy cut, but I did it. And then put um, uh, clear cardstock over top. But then before I did, I put glossy accents on his eyeballs and squished the acetate into it. Oh. And then that's just uh, the cogs, chipboard cogs with the distress glaze. Cool. cool. Nice. So that's what I finished up. And that's all I have to share for today. Well, thank you. Nice. You're welcome. Great stuff. So Thanks. next in our victim line here is Joanne. You are in the spotlight. Hi, everybody. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Hi Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Um, I have two ATCs to share. Uh, let's see. So April's was Emily. This is not my idea, but I executed it, right? So family, oh. the best piece of my life. Very nice. Yeah. Is that watercolor in the background? Uh, no, it's Tim's um, oxides. Oh, it's oxide, oxide inks. Oxide. Oh, yeah, OK. Wow. Yeah. Love those. I love yeah, that I do too. Not a fan. Oh. Yeah, well, it's always like one in the crowd. The plain I know. I just don't like them. Yeah. You haven't played with them enough, uh, Kristen. <laughs> she is banned and... from the group. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> no, she's not. She just needs to play with them a little bit more and stop trying to think they're going to do something that they're not. <laughs> Get the water out. Spray some stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meanwhile, back with Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> and this is for May flowers. Oh, look at your little pixie. Pretty. Little yeah. fairy. Fairy. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> and then I made two of these for the little girls. They were having birthdays, or one was in April and one is coming up in a week or so. Um, so it's uh, one of these tins so this Aww. one's for ella so i got the e and they like having their names on things so i've got these um <laughs> bottle caps so i do their name on one of those like brother things you you punch out the you punch yeah. the letters <laughs> and then i put um uh, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on it. So that's the in, in the front and the inside front. And then this pulls out. Oh, cute. Oh, nice. Awesome. So I just, <laughs> yeah, just put a bunch of, like wish big and enjoy wow. today. You're awesome. Cool. Yeah, birth happy birthday. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So I'm just giving them money. So I'll put money in there. But <laughs> then yeah. yeah. They love crafts and nice. stuff. So that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Nice. Really nice. And, and then um so I attended Stephen's retreat and Stephen, I just want to say thank you to you and Walter. It was a really good day. I'm and glad you had a good time. We did. Yes. <laughs> it was tiring though. It was, but it yeah. was still a very good day. And I thought everything went really well. And it was a real treat to meet your cousins as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> Matilda and Gladass. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're just crazy girls. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so uh, that day I started three journals. Um, so now I'm to the point, I just have to sew them together and add a few journaling cards. So this one is... Um, musical one. Oh, that's nice. 
And this one. Well, I like him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And this one's uh, got a little fairy on it as well. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. So there's those. And oh. Last but not least, um, this doesn't have to do with art, but I just wanted to share. Uh, two weeks ago was um, National Volunteer Week, and um, I received um, a provincial volunteer service award. So I oh, got wow. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Oh, good show. Yeah. Yeah. It's signed by the premier. Awesome. And wow. the uh, Minister of Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Culture. And this one's our nice. MPP. Beautiful. Wow. wow. That's wow. nice. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Awesome. Yeah, I, I Congratulations. just wanted to share that. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well Suitable yeah. for yeah. framing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your, your, the, your uh, awards, not you. <laughs> Although, <laughs> <laughs> so anything else you've got to tell us, uh, Joanne? Uh, no, that's it for now. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next up, Alicia, let me find you on here so I can get you in the spotlight. Alicia, Alicia, where are you? Where's Hello, oh? everyone. Does it help if I talk? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just going to are. Okay, I got you. <laughs> okay, you're in. <laughs> Hi everyone, how's everyone? Good. Missed you guys last week or last month, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been busy making some cards. I'm working on a eight by eight flip and fold album using Sir Vagabond. And um, I did my family ATC. Cute. Awesome. Oh, oh, so I used a bunch of different scrap papers and that, and none of the cards are the same because none of the family's the same. <laughs> Very true. <Good> <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then this is my flowers one. Oh, Ooh, I love that's gorgeous. beautiful. What stamp is that? Oh, or did it, you draw that? No, no, it's um, cone flowers by Woodware. Which is a beautiful of creative expressions. Okay. Oh, okay. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is one of the cards. Oh, yeah. You showed me oh. this yesterday. I like this. That's so oh, that's cool. cool. Oh, that's cool. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just cool. used opal polish on these guys here. But oh, I really I like this die because you can give it dimension and pop pieces of the, the flowers out. So yeah. cool. using sticky specs with this is really ideal. <laughs> so Alicia, did yeah. you just put the, um, that, what did you call the opal stuff opal on polish? white cardstock? Yeah, it's just on Nina cardstock. Okay. Yeah, well, so I did, that's I quite a done that about first because it comes all as a set. And so it's okay. cuts separate from your stitched edging, right? So then yeah. I just ink these afterwards. Okay. Or polish them afterwards, I guess I should it say. It really gives quite a sheen. It mm. does, yeah. And I mean, it's just a really simple card, quite honestly. It's one sheet of Nina cardstock. So it's not yeah. a die that cuts that out? It is a die. Oh, what's the die? Uh, it's a... Um, Studio light. Mm. Studio light die. Studio um, light. I did this one here. Oh, another pretty. card. What's yeah. the background? What's that background? Is that is that paper yeah. or is that ink? So it's polish. It's like a different type of polish, gilding, gilding paste, mm. and and some other like gilding sparkle stuff layered so i did the blue first and then i put the silver over top mm. 
And then these here are actually nouveau drops painted in. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And Oh yeah, I love these. Oh. Oh. Wow. Dana, oh, I think you so left before she showed nice. us those last night. So you're positive and you're negative of the same dye, mm. and those are love that. expressions as well. Nice. Those are awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's a nice dye. Yeah. And this is just a quick playing around. Now, is that a die cut or is that chipboard? This is a die cut and then it's embossed okay. with um, Sizzix gold embossing powder. Oh, wow. Pretty. Yeah. That's cool. And I'm only going to show you one page out of my album and then I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to show you the cover too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's Pretty. the start of the cover, but I use the rice paper. On the front. Yes. It's rice paper oh. from Chow Bella. That's nice. Oh. Pretty. oh nice. Starting some layers in that. Texture paste. Yeah. And then this is actually flocking behind here. So I don't know if you can see that texture hmm. or not, but it's a little fuzzy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. cool. So is that nice. special paper you buy? Or did you make that flocking? No, no, I buy it. Okay. It's this here. Oh, oh right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can cut it into strips, you can transfer it. Um, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of different stuff. You can buy cut it, you can emboss it. Yeah, lots of fun, that stuff. What's the um, album? Where's the album come from? It's, a, it's a heartfelt, eight by oh, eight. okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, didn't, I didn't make my own on that one. I'm working on a, a big homemade one for my uh, abuela's memorial, but yeah, it's a work in progress. <laughs> yeah. Well, everything is. <laughs> That's why we do it. So, yeah. uh, is anything else you want to share with us, um, Alicia? No, that's everything. And just okay. you guys last month. That was all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, Dana, you are in the spotlight. Hi, guys. So I've been trying to get caught up on all of my ATCs. Um, as you saw from my email, I'm not really getting enough time to craft or it's not as much time as I would like. So um, I'm going to step back from doing them. I really enjoyed doing them and it's been great to do all the different techniques and stuff, but I'm just finding, I don't know if it's just me, but I just seem they take me forever and I'm always thinking about them and whatever. So I wanna get back to getting some of the stuff that on my other lists done. So. Um, my March one for the weather sayings is you are my sunshine. So I watercolored the background oh, with the Catherine Fulton and it was just lots of fun. So just on watercolor paper. So, and nice. then my family one, I guess this is the one Kristen was talking about. Unfortunately, I purchased <laughs> the dyes after I made this one, but I had a background dye that like, that cut out a whole bunch of hexagons so it just I just cut it out several times out of different papers and just made um quilts so this one Stephen this one's for you <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you uh -huh. <laughs> quilted, uh, quilted family history yeah. sort nice. of thing yeah. so um and then for my May flowers and gardens is um a, a sunflower That's you're nice. one of them oh them. nice Mm -hmm. So the background I did. Is that it, a die cut? Yes, it is. It's a hunky dory sunflower die. Okay. And then in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, but in the middle of the sunflower, I put the um, frills. Frills. Thank you, Chris. You found them. Wow. <laughs> and you found <laughs> those. <laughs> um, and then the background actually 
um, it might be hard to see, but it's used using the uh, Joseph's coat technique, it's called. So I inked the background in like a yellowy, like a, a combination of different yellows. And then I stamped over top of it with, um, with the clear embossing ink with the scripty stamp and uh, yeah. clear embossed it and then inked the dark brown over top so that the, um, wow. the colors from underneath, like the scripty is actually like sort of multicolored uh, background before I started. So it was fun. That's cool. Um, and, nice. uh, and then my last one is I had a really hard time with camping. I'm like, I don't really have any stamps. I don't have any, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So I really didn't know what to do with this one. So I ended up with a sign that just said, welcome, happy campers. <laughs> Good. That's cool. That's okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, and that's really all I have to, to do. So I'm hoping to get back to actual scrapbooking. I'm going to do my wedding album in an actual 12 by 12 old school album. So I'm looking forward to getting back to uh, to doing that. Wait, you have cards. You made cards yesterday. Oh, yes, I did. I made cards <laughs> yesterday. You're right. Um, kind of boring, but um, best mom ever. <laughs> Nice. And we had a we had a challenge to use different things. So I've made washi tape photo corners to get my washi tape in there and to uh, <laughs> get my photo corners. And oh, yeah, I, yeah, I made, our bingo card. Yes, I made no, another thing. one for my daughter for her birthday oh. with the little gnomes. Oh, that's so cute! Beautiful. I I'm not much of a colorer, so I'm trying to get myself out of my box. Thanks to you guys. And um, you did a good job on that. Mm -hmm. And I made oh, nice. and I made her uh, an IOU every year for her birthday. We take a Buffalo shopping trip. And so <laughs> this is the second year in a row that we haven't been able to do that. So an IOU for inside of her birthday card, because as soon as we're able to go, we would look forward to going and checking out all the stores in the state. OK, anything That's else? No, I think she she's covered it all. I don't remember anything else she made. Okay, that, that's good. Your, your personal assistant says it's okay. I'm good, so I guess I'm good. Okay. Thanks, so, guys. next person in the spotlight, Liz, do you have anything you would like to share since you're brand new to us? Well, sort of. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you for having me, first of all. Um, I don't have anything um, scrapbook wise to share. I have been working on Conrad's um, scrapbook album, but uh, didn't get it completed in time. His birthday is on the 10th. So um, I was hoping to have it done for his birthday, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and I've also been busy doing little birthday projects for his birthday. So um, because we can't mm. actually have a birthday party for him this year, um, I've asked, you know, a few family members if we could stop by and just kind of say hi in the driveway. And um, that's our plan. But I did end up making little like treat boxes for everybody that say like, mm. uh, thank Aww. you for staying and um, Conrad's first birthday, love Conrad and family. His theme is first trip around the sun. We have like little spaceships and, um, moon paper that I could incorporate oh. projects um and nice. then I actually am like a birthday cake topper with all kinds of little planets um and things like oh, that wow. since I can't take him for a cake smash photo shoot um I'm kind of DIYing one at home so I'm gonna use like this banner it says one on it um and oh, then nice. I make some tiny star garlands and things so I have to string all these together and it took me a while to cut out all of the stars I actually got Richard to help so that was really nice um and then I've also been I made these guys up so these are little three by three photos that I printed out and then I just matted them on white cardstock so I'm gonna make a heart shape around him for next month and just uh take his take his photo for that and then last thing I did is I've actually had, you know, family members um, who can't attend mail some little um, cards and things. Um, and then I'm making him a time capsule. So I printed off this little sheet and decorated a background. Um, and then when he's 18, he can actually go through and read all of the messages. Um, but then I cut oh, little nice. 
face card pieces for people to write messages, mm. things like that too. So when we do our little drive around, um, that's our, our game plan is to get some messages written for him. Um, but that, those are sort of my main projects that have kept me busy for the last little bit. Yeah, I'd say so. um, oh. Because you guys were kind of allow me to participate in the ATC cards. Um, I ended up making this one for the camping. So it's just nice and simple. It's got little trees that I use embossing um, powder stamp. And then nice. I cut out two little trees using a dye. It's on flat paper. And then for flowers, I thought I'd put my own spin on things because I like really creepy things. So I have flowers with little eyeballs. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? So that's a variation on uh, instead of you are the flower of my eye, it's you're the eye of my flower. <laughs> <laughs> that's what up to i've been really busy um with baby and stuff but uh no complaints he he's a lot of fun so just getting ready for his birthday i made him a little birthday chalkboard for his photos and mm. stuff um just been busy doing little crafts related to his birthday mostly but i'm looking forward it's, it's we're celebrating next saturday and then his actual birthday is monday so just trying so to get it all so what you're telling us is, if you want to get your creative mojo back, you have to have a baby. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, so. gonna, yeah. no. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to share with us, Liz? Pardon? Anything else you want to share? No, no. That's everything. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Have I missed anybody except myself? I think I got everybody right. Okay, so my turn. So put me in the spotlight. All right, there we are. Okay, what have I been working on? Well, I've been doing 3D printing, of course. So, and I'm just going to switch my camera over so you can see this a little better. Uh, let's see. Start the video. Get the right one in here. Okay, where am I? <laughs> I got to find my other self. Oh, there's my other self. Okay, spotlight. Okay, this is better. Um, so this is called Blinky Fox. He took about a day and a half to print, but apparently I found out he's an animated character from some kind of video game or something. And he's all the rage in the 3D printing world, I guess. But what I really like is the detail that the printer can mm -hmm. put together. Yeah. And I did this in sort of a, a sparkly purple filament, which I kind of liked. So that, and then you need to have a little head. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, the Easter head there. What do they call them, a Moya or a Maya or something like that? Um, I just. I'm making things that have to do with landmarks in the world lately. I've been doing that. But, you know, you always need a Grecian urn. Well, not quite a good urn, more of a Baroque style flower pot. But uh, this sucker's big, wow. but you did them in pieces. But I think it's kind of fun, kind of cool. So I don't know what I'll put in it, if anything. How do you adhere the pieces? Like, what do Glue you gun. use? Glue oh. gun. Yep. Okay. It's Gorilla Glue. Yeah, actually, <laughs> Gorilla Glue does not work that well on these kind of plastics oh. for some reason I found. I found just using my glue gun works really, really well. Yeah. At the moment, my printer is working on a great big huge thing. It's a retro rocket from the 1950s. I've just got two of the four pieces done. So this. Wow. There's It's working on the flames right now that come out of this. And then uh, when I get that done today, then I'll put it on and it'll go on for about a day, making this big cloud like it's like blasting off and this mounts on the side wow. of it on an angle. Looks really cool. So, but I'm just a boy with my toys. <laughs> the Jetsons. Because <laughs> it's all about the toys. So, in my quilting world, I am using my embroidery machine to do my quilt, these quilting blocks. And I have these, there's about 21 of them. Oh. I've only got about 11 here. But this gives you an idea. Takes about 45 wow. minutes to make each one. 
And then eventually they'll all get put into a quilt. But Ew. the thing is, it's already quilted too. It quilts at the same yeah, time. Yeah, just looking at that. That's, oh, that's pretty. nice. Is that yeah. like a metallic thread? Nope. That is, uh, I use It seems to have like a nice shine. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It does have a shine to it, but it's not metallic. It's uh, a brand called Floriani. Oh, I love flowers. And it's a, a great ingredient for it. Now, so you know how I'm always looking for ways to combine uh, both my quilting world and my mixed media world. So I was watching a video on YouTube uh, about a, a, fec a fiber textile artist. And she does this stuff where she actually puts down onto something called tearaway stabilizer, which is something that we I use all the time in embroidery. It's basically a, an, in, a, a stabilizer so that your stitches will hold. Uh, and you put that usually in behind your fabric or whatever you're stitching on. Well, she takes it and she takes light molding paste and does what we do when you're using it in an art journal or on something, you know, spread some of that through your stencil or put some down and, you know, make some marks in it to create texture and all that kind of thing. So she does that. She puts on a very thin layer and then she'll go over top of that with a color wash. Uh, she, she uses anything, acrylic paints, liquid acrylic paints, um, sprays, whatever. Same thing as we do when we're making wow. backgrounds for art journals. And then she puts a layer of this other stuff. And I happen to have some, but it's been discontinued. Golden used to make something called digital grounds, which is a, a liquid that you put over a, a, a porous or non-porous uh, substrate that you normally wouldn't put through your inkjet printer, but now you can, and the ink will print on it wow. without all bleeding and everything. So she puts a layer of this down on top of the substrate. Then she creates in Photoshop or whatever her background uh, or whatever she wants, her picture, and she does some layering with them and stuff like that, and then prints it out. And then she takes these and she sews them into wall hangings. So I thought I'd give this a go. So here's my first attempt. Now the colors kind of suck, but this is my first attempt. So each one of these squares is that um, tearaway stabilizer. You can't really, if you look real close, you can see the texture mm -hmm. that's in here. That's all from the light molding paste. Then I did a color wash. I think on this one I used, um, did I use? I think I used some alcohol inks on uh, one of them, yeah. And the other one, I think I just use uh, some uh, liquid acrylic paints, um, did the digital grounds, and I put it through my printer, and it printed out. And then I took them and cut them down to this size. I did four of them, sewed them together. Oh, I embroidered on top of them. So to give it more texture, I used one of the uh, quilting motifs in my embroidery machine. But and Steven, then on top, yeah. which, which part did you print? I'm just you trying to follow. You like, see all the color? The part? You see the color? Yeah, that's printed. That is printed. Actually, let me grab. Um, where did I oh, put I thought that was your inks. No, that's printed. Well, no, there is wow. there's color. So underneath. the before is white. Here, I'll show you. Here's my step outs because I'm doing a video about this. Um, okay, so. Here's my substrate, okay? And then I did, I just did my light molding paste. So you see these little marks here? I did them through a stencil. Yeah. And then yeah. I just, this, these ones I went over with, uh, I think I did these ones in um, Delusions sprays. Okay. And, you know, just the way we would do any, any kind of background for uh, a journal. And then... Yeah. I had already created my image and I put it then after I put the digital grounds on top of this, I just ran it through my printer. That's me in there um, wow. and printed out. Now, what these are that I'm showing you here, because it's going to say you can do the same thing with cardstock. OK, um, but I'm not using cardstock. I'm using actually a, a fabric of sorts called a stabilizer. And then I added these borders to it. And this was just yeah. sort of a, a fooling around sample piece. I did some more quilting, straight, end, uh, straight edge quilting on here. But I'm working on another piece, which is one I'm putting a little bit more thought into. And I just got this much of it done today using the same process. 
Oh, that's really nice. But that's so beautiful. This is where my quilting stuff comes in more so than the first one I showed you because I've made them look like windows. So that's called attic window technique and then put the board around it. So the next thing is, see on the back, this is what we would ca call in quilting a flimsy, meaning it hasn't been layered yet for quilting. So I will put my batting in, I will put my backing on, and then I'll put it through my sewing machine and I'll probably do some light quilting in certain parts of it. And this become will become a wall hanging, but I'm doing a whole so video this, tutorial. What's that? So in this case, you printed the trees and the, uh... Yep. It looks like mountains or something. Actually, yeah. it's, it's, it's about three designs laid on top of each other. There is a, an actual page from my art journal book is in the background. And then I added okay. some text on that and blended in. I used Photoshop elements. So I made it a, 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 okay. a more transparent layer. And then I found this image of a tree and an image of these butterflies coming out of the trees. And I just layered those all in the Photoshop too. Wow. And then I printed this nice. right onto the substrate. And there's there's light molding paste on this as well, which is wow. hard to see in the video. But if you saw it in real life, you would see the texture <laughs> that it's created. So you get a little bit of it yeah. there and that kind of thing. So, yeah, I thought wow. it was a really interesting technique. And there are more because I bought a book by the woman who does this. Uh, her name is Wen Redman and digital fiber art. And she's got all kinds of techniques for doing wow. these kind of things, but using textiles, but also using a lot of the products we use all the time in art journaling. So I thought that was really interesting. So I'm pursuing that uh, to see what more I can create with it. Now, mind you, when you're doing these, they are not uh, waterproof. So you would not be able to wash something like this. It would no. be basically it's a decorative piece kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, but she's won some awards in big quilt shows for yeah. her work in there. And she's got some really beautiful stuff. And while I'm talking about that, I found a, through her book, an app that works either on your, your iPad or iPhone or right on your computer. Uh, I think it'll work with both Macs and PCs. Uh, it's called Grungetastic. Um, it cost me about $12 for the program, but it'll take anything you, any picture you put into it and will create a grunge or old fashioned look to it. It's a filter kind of a thing, but it has a lot more than what you can get in Photoshop and a lot of presets. And that's actually, let me see. Um, show you one of the ones I printed out. This this is not one done through Grunge-tastic, but that's the background that I used in some of those panels that I created in Photoshop. That's just printed on paper. And that was the one that you saw my face peeking out of. And uh, now where did I put the ones that have got Grunge? I dropped everything on the floor. Oh, here's so. Okay, so I took this image that I had created in Photoshop and I put it through Grunge-tastic and this is the effect I got. Wow. Hmm. But you can do like hundreds, literally hundreds of different effects, and it's just a push of a button. You you can fine tune them wow. if you wish, but there's so many to choose from. You spend hours looking at. It. I really like the program. So, and it wasn't expensive, twelve bucks oh. online. So, yeah, grunge tastic. Okay, so those are the things I've been working on. I've got two two quilts on the go as well. That pot puree one with the embroidery and um, the uh, uh, that uh, oh, one that has a Canadian theme to it that I'm doing. Okay, I'm trying to find my stupid mouse here so I can flip out of that. Go to the front of me. Okay, so that takes us to other business. And I do have one thing, but I'll just see if anybody else has anything that we need to discuss or ideas or whatever. Don't everybody jump up at once. Um, I have a thing. Is anyone interested in our bingo, my bingo card that I created for our uh, National Scrapbook well, Day? What is it? Yeah. What um, is it? Okay. So back in the day, they, they created these for Crocs. They have, so the write? idea... The idea is it was to use something old, something new, embellishments. It's just things to use oh. on a page or something. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, oh, like hints on what to make something out yeah. of. Yeah, and you got to check stuff off. Ideas. Yeah, one was order okay. some chalet or eat chocolate. <laughs> that was supposed to be the free square, oh. but I put it in the wrong spot because we always uh, eat Swiss chalet. Uh, we've been doing a lot of like Facebook instead of because we obviously can't get together. So like we had six of us yesterday. It was nice. So if anyone's interested, I can email this out. Um, be fun. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's just and it makes it a challenge trying to get everything on a page. I think one person put like 14 on one like scrapbooking page. Wow. Yeah, I know that was impressive. Forget who that was. <laughs> it wasn't me. Eat the chocolate. <laughs> that was the first one I got. <laughs> we started, we went for 12 hours yesterday. We did 10 to 10. Hmm. So oh, wow. except for Dana. Dana left early. Yeah, she's think. a party pooper. <laughs> she was. <laughs> okay. So anybody else got any business? I have one little thing. Yes, Joanne, put you in the spotlight. Uh, so I just wanted to ask, is, is anyone else feeling overwhelmed with doing all the ATCs? I'm not, because I don't do them. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> um, sometimes I am, and other times I, I'm not. I like them because they force me to think about stuff in a different way, because it's such a small format. Um, so I don't want to stop doing them necessarily. Um, it, yeah, I'm happy enough to do them, because, but sometimes I'm not feeling very creative. And at least if I've got an ATC I have to do, then I know I'm going to get those done. Um, so yeah, I, I'm happy to carry on. Okay. Why do you ask, <laughs> Joanne? Oh, oh, because somebody... Yeah, because a few people were feeling overwhelmed with it. So I think we have to take into consideration though, Joanne, like there's a lot of people, like there's still people in the group that are working and have been working through the pandemic the whole time. Oh, so absolutely. It's just, you know, yeah, I, I totally understand that. People. Yeah. So I don't necessarily think that it's just ATCs. It's just something has got to give. And unfortunately that's just, Maybe yeah, yeah. Like, so that's the only reason I'm leaving is like I I just I don't have a lot of time like and I'm yeah. this oh, pandemic yeah. has really taken its toll and I'm that's busy. Fine, you don't have to explain. Yeah, like no, I, I exactly. You should be fun. My God, <laughs> <laughs> you're not having fun. <laughs> yeah, no, no, and it's not that they're not fun. It's just I just don't want to. I just no, but it, if it gets stressful, that's not fun. So, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, exactly. exactly. Like, and so. I mm -hmm. normally am never going to bang out seven in one weekend. Like, that's just not, I don't even know where that came from. Like, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. It, it was crazy. The fire appeared somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what happened that day, but it worked out. But yeah, yeah it was really daunting. So, so we, we just, everybody does their whatever they want to do. Yeah. 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 Or what yeah. they feel comfortable with or whatever. So yeah. there's no, no pressure here. No, never I know. Yeah. yeah. For that. But, so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I do have, I don't know if we need to care about this or not. Um, but you know, we don't really have a name. I just refer to us as the art journal group all the time. And I was wondering if maybe we should come up with a name, like these are not good, but off the top of my head, like craft guild or crafty guild or makers or us or the artisans or something. I just thought, you know, maybe uh, another name. So I don't know. I can leave it with everybody. And if you can think of something over the next few weeks before our next meeting, then when we come back together, we can talk about it further and see if we want to create a new name. Or maybe we just want to leave it as it is. I was just thinking about it. So thoughts? I, I don't understand why we would need a name. <laughs> I always just call growing. it my art journaling group. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> but we're we're growing. I mean, we've had you know new members come yeah. to us too it's as really well. Mixed media. Do they object to be calling the group? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. No, it's, it's really mixed like, media. If everybody's happy with that, then we'll just leave it as it is. The art journal group. So yeah, Works and uh, okay, I it says it all. I mean, the time is. <laughs> Okay, yeah. what you're saying? Because I don't really is... do any art journaling. 
But you do. You just don't call it that. Well, I did. I did. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking we do so much more than just art journaling now. I mean, we started out as doing art journaling, but look at we're into cards and we're into ATCs and we're into altered books and altered tins and we do all yeah, kinds of things. So that's why I was just thinking maybe we needed to make a name that was a little bit broader. But I mean, I, if it's neither here nor there <laughs> for me, I was just thinking. So. Yeah. Well, I, I look at the art journaling as a, as a, uh, a place to experiment with things, whether it's specifically, you know, something on a page or a card or an art journal or a box or whatever. We are experimenting and creating things with various art. Uh, so, I mean, I can see it as, a, I, it, in my mind, it's a very broad kind of thing. It's not only just in a journal that you can, you know, flip through. That's that's what yeah. so I'm. Yeah. But I, I mean, I'm not wedded to the name. If somebody has a really snappy name, I'm happy to look, yeah. look at that too. So, okay. Well, we don't need to make any kind of decision on this whatsoever. No. If everybody's happy with what we we've been calling ourselves, and we'll just leave it at that. That's easy enough. No problem. Yeah. I just thought maybe we might have. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter no, to I me. We can oh, you wanted to be called Stephen and his angels, didn't you? <laughs> well, I, I might have changed the word angels to something else, but I know witches. for sure you wouldn't have gone Stephen for Stephen and his witches? Okay, his sounds like witch. <laughs> and his crafty bitches? Yeah. Stephen's mom. Crafty bitches, hey. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay. Leave it as a bitch. <laughs> All right, now we're just doing to leave the name as it is. We're not changing that. <laughs> hey, you brought this up. I know I did, <laughs> and I'm so sorry I did. So, okay. Hey, Stephen, so, are you having a crafty thing on Wednesday? Yep, uh, craft and chat on Wednesday. Uh, it's the first uh, Wednesday of the month, okay. so may the 5th be with you um, for that date. I, I will have it in, when I send you out these notes later today, the li Zoom link for it will be there. It starts at 1 p.m., but it's, it's drop-in, you know, come as you want. We didn't have a lot of people last uh, month. We were a little uh, lower than usual, but we, there's only usually just a handful of us. So, But everybody's welcome to do whatever you want to do. Yeah, it doesn't have to be cool thing. 1 p.m. starts from 1, and we run from, I leave it up uh, on until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Some people stay to the end. Some people have to pop out for whatever, and that's fine. That's um, fine. It's completely informal. It's not recorded or anything like that. It's just to keep me amused. So I, <laughs> and that's really what it's all about, is keeping me amused, okay? So... <laughs> Okay, so I'll put that in the in the notes today. So that takes us to our next meeting will be uh, Sunday, June the 6th at 1 p.m. And that'll be in the notes I send out to you. And I will also have the link for today's recording on YouTube once it goes up in there for you as well. So anything else? Yeah, nope. Everybody's okay? We're good. Um, okay, so great seeing everybody. And Thank you so much. Keep being creative and welcome Liz, new member and everything. And if yeah. there's other people you know that want to join us, you know, we are an open group. So, you know, if you've got friends, do any of you have friends? I don't know. Maybe this is just all the friends you have. Uh, <laughs> it sucks to be. Anyways, <laughs> I have more toys to make on my 3D printer. So, okay. So everybody will see you next month, if not sooner. Bye, all. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.